Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can directly integrate Cadently into VoiceFlow and thereby enable people to book appointments directly in your AI chat assistance without ever opening another window. I'll do so step by step so you can follow along easily and by the end of this video you'll know exactly what you have to do rather than just copy in some code that someone else gives you but which you don't really understand. This also enables you to much easier fix potential issues and understand where they're coming from. The three steps we'll be taking is first taking a look how iframes work in general in VoiceFlow and get a simple one to work. Then the second thing is to get the Calendly iframe to work in a safe and stable environment. And the third thing is to get this Calendly iframe directly in VoiceFlow and make it work there. And if you follow along, you will end up with Calendly directly in your voice flow. You need to have a subscription to voice flow, but that's the only thing you have to pay for. Calendly, you can use the free account and you also don't need any intermediary software. And now let's jump right in. So the first thing I'm doing here is that I want to get a standard iframe to work over in voice flow. And to do that, we'll start a new assistant we can call it anything let's call it calendly integration 2 and we want the chat interface and the language should be english that's fine we don't need any other creators so we can just go ahead like this and here all these default things we can delete right away Next, we need a standard iframe to test with and we can get one over at W3Schools and this is a website that many people use to learn how to program or research internet related topics and here with this link that I also leave in the video description below, you can find this code for a very standard iframe and you can see this is a code that runs on the right side exactly how it is programmed on the left side. And so what we need from here is this iframe code here. So let's just copy and go over to VoiceFlow and here get a text block and directly paste that in. Now, there are two problems here. The first problem is that this here is a relative link. And the second problem is that VoiceFlow also has trouble directly identifying a link inside of this text block. We actually need to define it as a variable beforehand. So let's fix that. And to do that, we can here in logic take a set. And what we want to call it is just URL. We can also here call it URL, or we can make this new a variable called URL. Uh, we create it. And in here, we want to have any uh, standard website link. You can choose one you like. I'm going to go with the English Wikipedia here, as everyone knows that. And what's quite important is that you want to put this link here between quotation marks. Otherwise, VoiceFlow won't work. And so now this URL is set up. This one is the iframe block. This one is the URL block. And so now we can just connect them and connect them here as well. And then let's run and see what happens. Okay, we got an issue. And the problem is that I forgot to replace this relative link here with the actual URL uh, in curly brackets, which we can do this way, URL. And it even looks here like a link. And we can try again. And you see it works. And you'll notice here in this preview, it still shows us the bug, but here in the demonstration window, we can see we got the standard iframe to work. And that is also how it will look like when you actually deploy the voice flow. So that is great. If you followed that far, you now know how in general you can get an iframe to work in voice flow. So our first problem is solved. The next issue is how to get the Calendly iframe 
and we first want to get it to work here in this W3 school environment where we have more control compared to the voice flow environment. At Calendly you have potentially different types of meeting and what you want is just one type of meeting but you don't want to just get this link here. Instead what you want to do is click on share and then add to website and embed and what you can do here first of all if you're a paying user you can adjust the color scheme here but also because the chat window is quite small what I think is a great option is here to hide the cookie banner and also hide the event type because then you don't require the users to scroll so much and you can share the information of the event type in a chat bubble beforehand so it looks more native and you don't have this huge iframe that the user needs to scroll so much and so now we actually don't need all of this but we just want to get the link and you see this calendly link here because of these boxes we ticked this link here changed and you can see that you can copy here all the way including the hide event type details equals one and hide GDPR banner equals one. You want to grab this whole link and move over to the W3 school environment and paste that in here and then run. And you see it works. And now you notice though this is not really the right size. You have to scroll a lot and you want it to be taller. And I found by testing around that a height of 700, 500 to 700, let's go actually with 500 here, 500 pixel is pretty good. You should do 700 if you have the description, but if you remove it, 500 is enough. And for the width, you want to use 100%. Uh, so it just adjusts according to the size that your browser window has. Now we can run again. And you see with 100% it is quite wide in this window, but of course in VoiceFlow, in the native chat integration, it will be much narrower. And so now we are done with the second step and we have the Calendly iframe working here in a safe environment. The third and last step is to now make this also work over in VoiceFlow. So what we do here is we take again the same link, go over to VoiceFlow, and here where we have the URL parameter, we replace this and make sure you don't remove the quotation marks, otherwise you run into an issue again. And so that works. And now here in the iframe, we still didn't adjust the size like we just did before in the other W3 screw website. So again, we want to go to 100% width and let's set the height to 500 pixel here. And let's try this again. Great. So you see, you don't even need to scroll because we removed the information. You see the whole thing. And what you actually would want to do here is though include another chat box, which has this information about the meeting. So let me do that. Let me quickly end the demo. What you want to do here is have another information which says something like please book a 30 minute Zoom call below. And so this one we could call it info. And now we just add this on top here and we link here. And now if the user in a bigger chat interface clicks on book a call or something, what they will see is they'll first get the information what they are booking here and then directly they have this option. And you see you can choose a date and choose a time next and you can do the full booking right in here and schedule the event. Now lastly, when you're done here, we can even publish this and we can embed the widget, copy this whole widget, go over to the W3 school again, paste this code in here, run it and you can even test how this AI assistant would look on your client's website or anyone's website. So 
That is how you can get a Calendly integration directly into VoiceFlow without paying any intermediary service. To conclude, let me thank this person who left a comment below one of my other videos and encouraged me to make this one. If you have any suggestions or questions, I'd love to see your comments down below as well. Thanks also to Connor over at Umbral AI, who first introduced me to this idea of using iframes to integrate Calendly in VoiceFlow. There are many other suggestions and useful topics about building VoiceFlow AI bots over on his channel, so make sure to check that out. I'll leave a link to it in the description below this video. And finally, if you're interested in getting an AI integration or AI chatbot for your own business, feel free to contact me over at X or book a call directly with Calendly and I'll link both of them down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.